Here's what I want you to do. Um, pull out your phone for a second. But what if I'm watching this on a mobile device? Now unlock your phone. I'll give you a moment or two to delete all your browsing history. So uh, take, take your time. Open your phone and go to your contacts list, your Facebook friends list, uh, whatever you use to chat with your friends. And uh, imagine this scenario. You're alone at your cottage for the weekend. Um, it's 4 a.m. and for some reason you're feeling really sick. It, it almost feels like you're dying. Keep in mind you're at your cottage, so let's assume you're about 20 miles away from where your main city or your main town is. Now scroll through your contacts list and let me ask you a question. Which one of your friends would go out of their way to help you? Who on your contacts list would cut their sleep short to drive miles across the state to potentially save your life? If your answer is two, I suggest you watch this video. If your answer is one, I think you need to watch this video. And if your answer is none, <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to watch this video. And if you have no friends, just don't even bother watching this video because you're, you're a loner for life. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. You need to watch this video. I think it's safe to assume the answer to my previous question was um, not a lot. Not a lot of people would go out of their way to potentially save your life. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter how many people you know. You know, if they're not willing to go the extra mile for you, I don't know why you're wasting your time with them. If you have 500 friends on Facebook, congratulations. I bet half those people aren't even your friends. Would those same friends step in a fight and take a punch for you when you're being beaten up by a gang of bullies? All 500 of them? Or would they just watch from the sideline like a regular person? Seriously, you tell me because I don't, I don't know. Your high school group that makes you so popular, will they be at your family or relative's funeral to comfort you at your time of sadness and distress to let you know that you have lost a loved one but you will be loved and cared for by us? All 700 of them? All 1,000 of them? Whatever amount go to your high school? You. <laughs> Really? Or do they just care about the gossip that mourns around your life and your relationships? Or how about this? You somehow end up in prison. I, I hope you don't. Like, <laughs> seriously, I hope none of you end up in prison. How many people from your friends list will come to visit you? How many of them would even make an effort to contact you after being locked up for three years? Honestly, you, you tell me. You tell me. I ask you guys these questions because I seriously encourage you to reconsider how you use the word friend. I feel like society has just completely fabricated the whole meaning. It's, it's misinterpreted in this society. And, you know, <clears throat> I just wanted to clear a couple things up. And my throat. <clears> throat. Excuse me. I know some of you are thinking, Meatless, your examples are a bit too extreme, you know? I don't really expect my friends to do this for me. Why not? No, no seriously, why not? Does it cost money? Does it affect their financial... Uh, What's the word? Does it affect their financial status or their, you know, just their general f uh, <laughs> Why are they your friends? If you don't expect your friends to go that extra mile when you need it, at no cost to him or her, other than the time, the love, and the passion they have for a strong friendship, then why are you wasting your time? I'll answer that question for you. It's, it's very simple. Um, these people aren't your friends. But let me tell you what they are. They're regular people who couldn't care less whether you live or die tomorrow. They're people who'd rather spread a rumor about you than defend it. They're people who only care about themselves. And chances are, if you ever see them at your house, it's most likely because they wanna fulfill their own desire. You have something that they wanna use you for, such as money, marijuana, alcohol. They really don't care. Once they have what they need and they see you're not supplying it anymore, they're out. <laughs> Once again, they couldn't care less whether you died or lived tomorrow. Actually, before I go further, uh, let me just say, don't get this confused with acquaintances. I'm not talking about your acquaintances. For example, um, people who you are required to know. People at your workplace, you need to know them because they're your colleagues. People who are on your team, your sports team. You know, I'm not talking about these people. Uh, this message isn't directed at them. Who I'm talking about are those people you call friends because they roam the high school hallways with you and you think they're gonna be your ride or die till you're like 90. You may be a popular high school kid now, and it must feel great being the center of attention. You know, I I'm sure it does. I'm, I'm not gonna argue against that. But just so you know what to expect, 90% of the people in your high school will not remember you when you graduate. It won't be their priority to 
Check the daily gossip on Rachel's rumors. In a world where there are bills to pay, money to make, children to take care of, you still think you play a role in their life? <laughs> huh, you're funny. So stop focusing on trying to be popular. It makes you look really dumb. As a matter of fact, it makes you look insecure that you can't do things by yourself and that you rely on a group of people around you to do everything. You're just like, you're like a clone of society. No different from anybody else. What you need to do is find yourself a group of good friends where you won't be causing drama about each other, spreading rumors, worrying about who's the most popular one and who's not. Just a group of friends who you can be open to, who you can be honest with, who do nothing but make you happy. Of course these friends won't be perfect. Like, you will get into an argument with these friends every now and then. But listen, that's just, that's just human nature. That's just human nature. We're bound to come across each other's differences. But what really matters, despite your difference in opinions, you guys still care for each other. Me personally, I don't have a lot of friends. I simply refuse to just let any Tom, Dick or Harry in my life. But those small group of friends that I do have, they make me happy. They give me a reason to smile. They motivate me to do better. You know, ultimately, I'm sure we would all take a bullet for each other. I think. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> These group of people I'm proud to call my friends because I can just go to them at no cost for me or no cost for them. But I can just go to them and we can just talk about our problems, you know. We can help each other with our problems. We can address solutions. And ultimately, we can just be honest with each other. Obviously, like I said, friends aren't perfect. We're not gonna agree on everything. For example, I had a friend come up to me uh, one time when I posted a video and he's like, oh, Meatless, uh, I wasn't really feeling your newest video. It was kind of boring, you know, I, I, I didn't like it. And you know, I'm not gonna argue with him because it's his opinion. And I'm just so grateful that he can step out and be open with me. That just shows how open he will be with me in the future if anything happens. You know, that's better than going behind my back and being like, oh, so I watched Meatless's new video today. Oh, it was so bad. His videos suck. Why do, why do I tell him each time I see him that he's good? My advice to all of you is very simple. If you're trying to make good friends, just do your own thing. Do your own thing and the right people will come. Just follow your own path. Follow what you really want to do and the right people will come. For example, athletics. If you like sports, if you like basketball, join the basketball team. You'll meet somebody on the basketball team who loves basketball like you do. They're strong about it, they're passionate, they're determined to do well. And those are all the things you'd be looking at. Or even art, you know, go to an art gallery, a museum, and notice the people staring at the same or analyzing the same, you know, artwork that you're looking at. Spike up a conversation with them, talk about the art piece. Because you know why? That's one thing you already have in common. You're better off having no friends at all and doing your own thing, you know, than being with people who you can't trust people who won't be there at the lowest points in your life and people who don't support you. That's all I have to say. You know, this video wasn't supposed to be too long. Uh, I kind of rambled on a few of my points a bit too much, but um, if you know someone or a group of people that need this video, share it on Facebook, share it anywhere. And if you're somebody out there struggling with friendship or you have a story to tell, just drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments. I, I reply to all of my comments, you know, and I'm curious just to see you know, what stories you guys have, where you stand on this whole friendship thing, or, or, or what I've said, whether you agree, agree with me there, whether you agree with me or not, you know, it's your opinion, so let me know your opinion in the, in the comments below. But once again, that's all I have to say, thank you for tuning in, do your regular drill, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.